All right, welcome back, folks. We're talking about the basics of function or function basics now. And we saw this last time. Here's a picture of a function machine. The idea of a function machine is just like this kind of swords to plowshares idea. You put in something at the top, turn a crank, and out comes a single piece of output. So we saw this before. That's not new. What is, what is new is this interesting picture, which shows that my second grader was learning function machines. So this is a curriculum from the University of Chicago called Everyday Mathematics. And he had to fill in a table called the plus five table, um, which said that as you put in some input, something happens, whiz bang, whatever the value of that input was, five more than input comes out at the output. So you put in three, you get eight. You put in seven, you get 12. You put in 15, you get 20. Okay? So that's exactly the same example as the plus five function you saw before. So in a strict definition, what we have is a function is a box, kind of an abstract idea, that takes zero or more inputs. It has exactly one output. And the important piece of the function is that if the inputs stay the same, the output stays the same. So that's really powerful and really critical to have the function definition work. There are three things the function doesn't do. The function has no state, which means whatever the past history of the world was, of the past history of that function was, what are the other inputs you've ever called it on, never ever does that affect the output. If the inputs haven't changed, the output's going to be, remain the same. The second is that it has no mutation, which means that we're going to learn that in computer science, we have variables that are stored places. And mutation might change some things there. We're not allowed to do that. We're not allowed to change anything outside the function. It's almost like a walled world. And inputs come in, outputs come out, and it doesn't actually have any ability to affect any other part of the world in terms of the state. And the third piece of it is going to have no side effects. And what that means is it can't do anything else. It's going to do its job and produce a single output. It's not going to, oh, I don't know, make the screen change or the stage change by making the sprite move around. It's not going to make a robot move around. It's also not going to play a sound or send something to the printer. It can have no other side effects. So that's what a function is. In summary, this is an important piece. In, in summary, a function has zero or more inputs, exactly one output, always is the same output for the same inputs, and no mutation, no state, and no side effects. All right. Thanks so much, folks. We'll learn more about functions in the next video.